Kampala Sewage Treatment Project, estimated to treat close to 46 million liters of waste per day, is due for completion in about four months' time. Quality, we can say it's okay and it's good that we have done it because now we know that all the latest investments on top of the piles, they will be sustainable, will not, they will not collapse. Okay. The quality of the work is good. We lost a little time, but we're going to compensate on that. The plant that was previously scheduled for commissioning in April this year is now about 85% ready and accordingly set for partial use by November this year. There is an opportunity if, uh, if you want to have a, a partial treatment uh, earlier in the year, maybe in the September, October. Other than that, the rest of the plant will be properly completed, tested, all of the electronic control screens and everything will be operational by the end of the year so that the plant could be put into operation to start to treat this 45,000 uh, uh, cubic meters a day, probably at the beginning of January uh, 2018. This was disclosed during an inspection tour by Water and Sewage Corporation's Board Technical Committee that set off from the Centenary Park along Ginger Road. This is the point where laying most of the pipes for the sewer line is done, with the exception of road crossing. The plant to serve about 380,000 people is the largest in East and Central Africa. It will treat 45 million liters of wastewater daily. Apart from generating 650 kilowatts of electricity to run part of its machinery and also generate biogas, the plant will also treat water from the heavily polluted Nakivbo channel before it goes back to Lake Victoria. Uh, the issue of sewage flowing in the streets or anyhow will no longer be there. And um, as you see, it is highly mechanized, it's modern. We are even going to generate power so that uh, from the sewage so that it is used to run some of the machines. And even the organic waste which will come from here, we're going to use it for manure which will also earn money for us. So very little will be lost. But apart from that, it's also going, we're also going to clean like the Nakivu channel. Whatever is moving from there, we shall extract it and clean it so that we protect our GABA plant, so that whatever goes there along the Nakivu channel, although it is cases here work, but we're going to make sure we work on it also. At the end of the day, Kampala would be better off. Health would be there, you know, sanitation is health. And what we are talking about here is sanitation. The 100 million euros project includes 31 kilometers of sewer lines, a set of the art treatment plant in Bugorobi, a sewage pre-treatment plant in Kinawataka, and a pumping station in Kibira. Benat Iga, UBC TV, in Kampala.